The use of smart instruments to analyze feedstock characteristics can make the selection and management processes much easier. The type of raw material used in your biogas plant has much influence on how the plant operates. Let's look at the three main feedstock challenges biogas plants face today. 1. Feedstock Evaluation and Selection The type of feedstock processed in a biogas plant has a great influence on both the plant performance and economics. Several types of waste materials generate revenue for the plant via their tipping fees, while other more attractive materials or energy crops have to be purchased. These substrates can significantly differ when it comes to their characteristics. Some produce a large amount of gas but are priced too high. Others have high tipping fees but have a negative impact on the process. 2. Variations in Feedstock Quality Feedstock characteristics might vary significantly over time. Some important factors include the weather, seasonality, or how the material is collected and stored. These factors and many others influence the concentration and condition of the material. Variations will affect the biodegradability, the methane potential, and, in turn, the performance of the process. 3. Slow degradable and toxic feedstock Some types of feedstock might be difficult to degrade contain toxic substances, or lack certain essential nutrients for the microorganisms. The use of these substrates could lead to inefficient and unstable processes, creating a negative financial impact and, in the worst-case scenario, could even lead to a process failure that could severely hurt the plant. To tackle all three challenges, we need to be able to find the best and most profitable feedstock available and foresee any variations in quality. This means gaining access to more information. With reliable smart instruments, we can produce a large amount of high-quality process data with a minimal amount of skill and manpower. 3 Solutions for Your Feedstock Choose the best feedstock. By using modern and automatic instruments for your standardized batch fermentation tests, you can anticipate the methane potential, the degradation characteristics, and how well the microbes will adapt to this specific feedstock. Combined with a proper analysis of availability, price, transportation cost, and handling requirements, this information will give you solid foundations for your feedstock selection. 2. Handling Variations Within the Feedstock Regular batch tests of the feedstock will tell you how its quality varies. It is essential to use feedstock samples that are representative and to start the testing phase quickly in order to get accurate results. These results can be used to adjust the feeding of the plant and possibly to negotiate the feedstock price. 3. Ensure good feedstock quality. When working with slow degrading, toxic, or nutrient limited feedstocks, optimization is needed. Some examples include pre treatment, co digestion, or additive supplementation. These kinds of process amendments can sometimes be expensive, so you need to carefully analyze what is needed. Again, the use of smart and automatic instruments for both batch and continuous tests will help you investigate and find the best solution for your feedstock optimization. Conclusion Your feedstock is an essential part of the biogas plant and strongly influences its overall performance and profitability. Smart instruments can help you optimize feedstock management and facilitate feedstock selection. But what about other common process-related challenges? In Lesson 3, we discuss how smart instruments can also help with operational challenges in the biogas plant.